good evening students uh, today we will uh, continue the chapter lesson number 11 so in lesson number 11 we were discussing about uh, the network protocols as well as we discuss about internet intranet and extranet and uh, tcp ip so what is the uh, 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 use of the tcp ip what is https what is http what is ssl so we were discussing about all these protocols and we were uh, discussing about uh, jargons okay so they are the words or terms used to convey some hidden meaning in in specific field and then uh, we were discussing about internet intranet and extranet and then uh, what is mobile network and how does your mobile network works and uh, i sent uh, sample videos for those uh, how does your uh, mobile net mobile works and we were discussing about generations of uh, mobile networks so starting from first generation to uh, fifth generation of uh, mobile networks and uh, last class i sent a, a video for uh, lifi what is lifi which is light fidelity and today we will uh, discuss about wifi advantages of wifi and the last topic which is rfid and uh, types of rfid which is uh, active uh, rfid and you have passive rfid system okay and then the components of uh, rfid system so first what is uh, uh, wifi so wifi is nothing but it stands for wireless fidelity and it is a wireless network uh, network technology that permits computers and alternative devices to be connected to every alternative into a local area network and to the net without wires and cables so wifi is additionally stated as wlan which is wireless local area network okay and uh, this follows the protocol of uh, 802.11 and that this is the technical code for the uh, wireless local area network protocol okay then uh, the benefits of wifi so this may be asked in uh, three mark question what are all the benefits of wifi and uh, it includes uh, mobility okay for example you can uh, uh, carry carry over the hotspot or you can carry over uh, laptop and you can connect to wifi through uh, the hotspot or at any place where you are in, into your work and then it provides connection to internet flexibility of lan that is it provides all the features of your local area network so that is me that is a meaning for the third point which is flexibility of lan it ensures connectivity that is it can connect any devices into the network it allows um, places that are remote to benefit from connectivity and it is of low cost and high benefits and then the last topic which is given in your textbook is rfid which is in 11.1.4 so which is radio frequency identification so this rfid is a technology designed to locate object it may be your credit card it may be your password or a passport or it may be even your life stocks using radio signals and this rfid is nowadays used in every each and every field uh, in warehousing field Uh, in garments uh, to uh, maintain stock register to maintain your uh, even in uh, 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 shops in grocery shops or in uh, in even in uh, railway station it can be used in railway station it can be used in bus stops okay so you have two types of rfids which is active rfid and uh, passive rfid passive rfid is nothing but it covers a shorter range of distance uh, and active rfid it covers larger area of distance okay so we'll discuss in detail it is a technology designed to locate objects rfid uses radio waves to read and capture information stored on a tag attached to an object tag can be read from several feet away and does not need to be in direct line of sight of the reader to be tracked rfid is made up of two parts of a reader and a tag or a label rfid tags are installed with a transmitter and a receiver 
we'll discuss it uh, it in detail how does your rfid works and uh, even i will uh, send you a sample of rfid how does your rfid works sample video i will send send to you with along with this uh, 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 video so rfid component on the tags has two parts one is a microchip and it stores and process the information and the antenna is used to receive and transmit a signal so rfid uh, tag is of two types one is active and another one is passive so passive does not uh, sorry passive rfid the power is supplied by the reader when the radio waves from the reader are encountered by a passive rfid tag and it is coiled with the antenna forms and magnetic field battery powered rfid tag is installed with small battery that powers the broadcast of information so the main components of rfid systems are uh, it has a reader so, okay so this is a rfid tag and this is your rfid reader so rfid tag it has silicon microchip attached to a small antenna and mounted on a subtrack so you, if you can see this the image will be given in your textbook also so this is a subtrack and this is your antenna and this is your chip so this is called as your rfid so a reader so this is a reader even in grocery shop if you are going to make uh, if you purchase uh, they will uh, uh, have this type of uh, reader okay so so that they will scan the barcode and uh, that barcode uh, details will be uh, read by this reader and then the uh, data will be collected through the system okay so it is used to uh, it is used for communication and then uh, the second one is a controller so the first one is rfid tag second one is a reader and then the third one is the controller so these three things are the main components of rfid system and this is a very important three mark question what are the main components of rfid system so a controller which means uh, even uh, you can have uh, a computer also so okay it is a host computer with a microprocessor which receives the reader input and process the data there are two types of uh, rfid system which is active and passive so active rfid system has uh, uh, as its own power and this system used to cover large distance and to track high value goods like vehicles okay so this type of uh, active rfid will be placed in uh, railway station right so if you are uh, standing in, in railway station uh, the in, inside you can hear a voice that uh, uh, the train which is traveling from uh, uh, tambaram to something like that you will he hear a voice call right so how they, they can identify now where is the train is and uh, within how many seconds the uh, train will reach the uh, destination point and all so they will track by making use of this rfid system okay and even in flights okay so there uh, in the flight they will have a uh, rfid they will uh, fix the rfid tag in the flight and then a reader will be placed somewhere else uh, in the airport so that once when the uh, flight is reaching some uh, 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 some short distance or some long distance they will calculate and once when the flight reaches uh, the uh, required distance the reader collects the information from the rfid that is which is placed inside the uh, uh, flight so that and the information will be collected to the uh, controller uh, that is the system so that there the operator will uh, uh, monitor it and then he or she will announce that uh, the flight number this uh, from uh, uh, from the place and it is going to reach within the stipulated amount of time or if the flight is going to land uh, uh, somewhat uh, uh, after the stipulated time uh, they will inform that the uh, the flight name and the flight number which is coming from will reach 5 minutes later or 10 minutes later due to ba bad weather condition so like that it will be uh, informed and then the passive rfid system it gets the power through the power uh, sorry through the uh, reader which is uh, the antenna to the tag antenna they are used for shorter range transmission so these type of passive rfid
so this passive rfid it it does not have its its own power instead it will uh, get the power from the antenna okay so they are used for shorter range of transmission and uh, for this passive rfid uh, tags the uh, best example is uh, your access card if you if an employee is working in an msc company uh, they they will uh, be provided a access card so that is id card so in front of in front of that access card you will have your uh, photo your uh, detail your signature and your company name etc and uh, the back back side you will have uh, uh, it will be plain okay so if you open it you can uh, see the uh, uh, rfid system that is a copper coil inside it and a chip inside it so that once uh, if an employee you want to enter wants to enter the uh, organization or the uh, stipulated uh, or a certain uh, department he or she will be provided that access card okay so uh, outside the uh, uh, door or outside the uh, organization they they will have that uh, reader so once when an employee goes to uh, goes near that uh, reader and he or she should show that access card in front of that reader and once the reader is uh, collect the information and that will be checked with the server inside the organization and if both the number matches it 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 has a 10 digit uh, secret code okay so both the codes are matched and then the door will be open so that type of rfid system is called as passive rfid system okay so so till this your uh, lesson number 11 ends so this is a very important five mark question rfid so go through this carefully and along this video i will send uh, uh, a video for uh, how does your rfid system works okay thank you children